everybody out there. Welcome to the stream, and I hope you guys are having a, a fantastic Friday so far. Because, yes, it is fantastic Friday, and I'm excited. Now that we finished Cloud Cuckoo Land, it's time to go start wiping out the rest of the levels, and we get to start with Terry Dactyl Land. Yes! So, yes, more dinosaurs! I'm excited. Uh, yes, and I don't know about you guys, but uh, I know I've said this every stream this week so far, but every day just felt super long, so I am ready for today. This is the last thing I have to do today, and then I'm ready to just go veg, turn my brain off for a while, and whoo, I'm excited for it. So, let's do it, y'all. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. So, I already got us over to Pterodactyl Land because it's the best. <laughs> Um, is it Dinosaur Friday? Yes, it is. I'm trying to think of a dinosaur that starts with the letter F to make it that. Um, but I can't think of any. I'm, sh I'm sure there are. I just can't think of any right now. Um, so let's do the Stomping Plains. Nicholas, thank you. Uh, how are you and Sandy? Overall, we're good. Sandy's still recovering, uh, from her back issue. It's Luckily, it's pretty minor, but it's enough that it really bugs her. Which I don't love, but it kind of is what it is. You know. And the doctor and the vet told me, it's like, well, now that she's done this one, she's going to be hurting it a lot. So get ready for that. I'm like, oh, she's only like five. I don't like this. All right. So if you guys don't know how to, what we're doing here, this dinosaur steps a lot. So I'm going to get stepped on here. And that's okay, because then I can just sleep it off. Did I really need to get over here and get these eggs? I don't know. For some reason, I thought there was like a honeycomb over there. Poor Sandy. Yeah, I know. But it is what it is. I know that's just one of the risks of having a dachshund. But that's just, just kind of, it comes with the territory. You just kind of realize that there's a high probability your dog is going to deal with back issues if you have a dachshund. And I knew that. I was about to say, please don't kill me because I accidentally got hit a little bit. This made you rage so hard when you first played it. I don't blame you. I remember as a kid trying to figure out, this is impossible. How do you do it? Not knowing that this move existed. Now that I know, it's just as simple as, you know, getting each footprint resting up. How old is Sandy? She's only five, so she's not old. I guess I didn't really need these eggs either, but once again, I thought I saw like uh, the outside of a honeycomb, not like a regular honeycomb piece like this ended up being, but you know, it is what it is. What's wrong with Sandy? Eh, she just hurt her back. She was just uh, playing with my roommate's dog and she just like ran the wrong way and then hurt her back. She didn't do anything abnormally bad or abnormally weird, but now she's just uh the medicine that she got from the vet is helping a lot. Is Lion King in Disney Dreamlight Valley? Yes! We have Scar, Simba, and Nala right now. And it's pretty much guaranteed we're going to get to Mona Pumba also. It just hasn't happened yet. Oh, that's Kazooie. Okay. We need both of them to get the jiggy. Oh, yeah. I think just Kazooie, I can just do it really quick. Uh, Logan, thank you. This week has felt long to me, too. But I have Monday off next week, so that's good. Oh, lucky. And I can't say much. I ended up getting one day kind of off this week. Not fully, but sort of. Um, I just ended up getting all the work scheduled for me done super early. And so then I just got to take the rest of the day off. Oh, crud. I just ran straight to Banjo. Uh, no. Well, I can at least get the Jiggy. 
But now I gotta do Kazooie's over again, but luckily hers is the easy one. All right. So where does this lead? Then I'll come back and I'll do the thing with Kazooie again. Oh! Cool, we got that one for, for how cool, we got another one for, <laughs> for Hailfire Peaks. Nice. All right. Um, so we're gonna go up here and then we'll come back. Oh, perfect, it took me right to the beginning. It's what I wanted. Perfect. So let's just send Kazooie over there. Banjo doesn't have to go back. But that'll make things easy because Kazooie's way easier to do this with because she's way faster. Uh-oh. I'll get the honeycomb. I do kind of wish they had a new sound effect for the dinosaur every time he stepped. Because it's the same one every single time and that does get a little annoying. Alright, we got the ginger! Okay. The purple ginger family is complete. They'd like you to have this. Alright, well we caught like what? Three jiggies in the first five minutes of this... of. The stream? Not to a shabby. Wait, I don't remember where this green tunnel leads out to. How did I get here? Oh, yeah, it was through there. Okay, I just wanted to know. Uh, what's the update of Disney Dreamlight Valley? Uh, like in general? Um,. It's still going? <laughs> um, we finished the whole new update and the DLC part with the Rift in Time so far. And there's going to be a new update, I think, in February? February or March? Something like that. There's a, there's a, They have a bunch planned out this year. So we'll definitely be doing more. Um, what's the last thing we need to do? Oh, yeah, the Ooga Booga's Cave. Because now I can get around in Witchy World and go back and get them food and stuff. Logan, thank you. Uh, can you imagine if Mufasa was put into Disney Dreamlight Valley simply to be like, Dad, how are you alive? I'm freaking out, man! <laughs> oh, gosh. I would be both happy for the reunion and a little messed up going, How did that... Okay. <laughs> that would be crazy, though. Joey, thank you. With uh, Dr. Schm Doofenshmirtz and his genie-inator... Dan Pavamire should really contact you. Also, I lost my Wi-Fi, so yeah, today I felt, felt really long for me, too. Oh, I'm sorry you lost your Wi-Fi. But yeah, you know, if Dan Pavamire wants to find it, I'm not... like As you guys, I'm, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but every time I make a normal video, like a regular long-form video, I put a short version of it the week after. So, he does... I don't know if he watches YouTube a lot, but he watches TikToks a lot, and I'm going to post that on TikTok, so he might, he might find it there. Me warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. Yeah, so there was a way I could get to Witchy World from here, but we couldn't do the thing because... Yeah. Yeah, the Witchy World. Because the whole thing was I needed to come get burgers and fries, but I needed this to be able to get back up. So I can just go get the food. And now that I have that move, I can do that. But now i got to figure out where that is to even utilize. Y'all, it's been a while since we've been here. Ah, oh, this was a fun level. So where's the shoes for this? They gotta be nearby. Hello? Suction shoes, where are you? How can you remove the thorn from the castle? Um like from the main castle I they they get unlocked as as you go and then also as they unlock new features so there's a lot of doors inside the castle that will still have thorns on them because they haven't made those levels yet so you can't unlock everything where is the shoes Ha 
<laughs> Hi, Brian. And tell me why Disney makes a new horror movie about Mickey Mouse. Disney's not making that. Disney is not making that. Because Mickey Mouse is now in public domain. At least the Steamboat Willie version. It is a completely different studio using the copyright freeness of Steamboat Willie Mickey to do this just like Pooh did but with Pooh and Blood and Honey a couple years ago. Where are the where, where's the shoes? Am I blind? Or are they like out here? They can't be too far. Are they like on top of this? The boots are on top of the big top. You gotta go all the way to the top of the big top? CR92, thank you. Hey Brian, I love your content. What did I miss? Uh, not too much. Uh, well, we finished up the Stomping Plains and Pterodactyl Land. So we did that. We got the last of the pink Jinjos. And we got a random uh, Jiggy in Hellfire Peaks. So we got that stuff done. Now we're trying to get burgers and fries for the cavemen to finish up Pterodactyl Land for good. Let's go ahead and grab some fries. Gotta figure out how to get to the big top. And I know I've done it, I just don't remember right now. Give me some fries, Joe! Yeah, fries coming right up. Eh, have a nice day, I guess. I knew we would say that. Yep, me too. Mm. I better start frying up some more, because I'm all out. Yeah, you better prepare for the impending rush. Why, you cheeky? <laughs> Isn't there something about the the fortune hut thing? Is that a fox? Yeah. I thought there was something to this. Ah, welcome. I will now choose your fate. You win an energy bar refill. Well, I was already full. Thanks. Madam Grunty's tent is closed temporarily for refurbishment. Okay. What's my favorite Kingdom Hearts game and why? I'm actually working on a video about that for this channel, so you guys will have to wait and hear from it to hear. I've been working on it. Give me some burgers, Al. Okay, kid. Burgers coming right up. Wait, uh, you want fries with that? Oh, yes, please. Well, too bad. Burgers is all I got. Go see Salty Joe. What? You got no more burgers left? Better root around for some more. I think there's one just under your left foot. Where? I can't see it. Alright, so uh, I guess we gotta get to the top of the big top, which I don't want to do, but I will do. Isn't there... There's not a jump pad on the back of this, is there? No, it's a move. So, uh, the best way is actually to over here. Madam Grunty's tent is now open again. KLK, uh, fanboy, thank you. Hey, Brian, have you seen Hilda Show on Netflix? No, I've heard of it, and I recently just, like, I think literally just today, watched a clip of it going, ah, this actually looks like a pretty cute show. So, uh, I do want to check it out. And I've had some friends tell me it's really good. So, I need to try that, figure that out at some point. Try that out. There we go. Grunty sounds like Doofus Schwartz. Kinda does. Never knew there was fast food in this game. Yep, you can get some burgers and fries. Yep, y'all are right. That's where the shoes are. I'm surprised they're all the way over here. Because if you mess that up, it's a, it's a whole thing. No. Perfect. All right. 
Let's go quickly. Come on. Here we go. All right, we have food for the Oogle Boogles cave. Wait, why can't I talk to you? Hello? I tried to speak to you. Me warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. Me need food, you got, you give. You got your burger. Mmm, that tasty. Me all happy now. Alright, so I gotta go find the other dudes and feed them. Let me talk to him. Me warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. Me need food, you got, you give. The master, thank you for become, becoming a member. Or re-becoming a member, I think. Mmm, that tasty. Me all happy now. Oh! I beat it to it. <laughs> I beat the notification. I think it's this way to get to the other one. Yes. Yes. Because there's three of them, I think. Me warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. Me need food, you got, you give. <laughs> After the same thing every single time. Mmm, <laughs> that tasty. Me all happy now. Aaron Bird friend save Oogle Boogle tribe from extinction. Must have reward now. If only I can save the rest of the prehistoric life from extinction. <laughs> Why are there teeth marks on it? Me thought chocolate was inside. <laughs> well, at least he's honest about it. Hey. Don't you just love it when you beat a notification? Just right. It feels good. <laughs> All right. So with that, I think, have we finished everything in Pterodactyl Land? All of the Cheeto pages, all of the, yeah. We have done it all for Pterodactyl Land. Oh, we haven't done it for Jolly Rogers Lagoon. I thought we got it all. We we're missing two still. I don't know what we're missing over there, but we can go figure it out. Um, but I also want to go see if uh, I can go turn in some Cheeto pages. And also, uh, yeah, go get some Cheeto pages to help make the last things even easier and the final boss and all that jazz. <laughs> And there was something else I was going to go look at. I don't remember. What... Oh, yeah, the, the empty honeycombs. I missed a page. Where did I miss a page? And the dinosaur? Oh, I am! Thank you guys for pointing that out. I, I totally blinked on that. Okay. Hang on, let me see. Um, Terry Dactyl and Cheeto Pages. Where am I missing one? <sighs> Honeycomb Pieces, Dangerous, Cheeto Pages. Grip, grab along the left edge of Mumbo's skull to reach the small alcove around the side of the mountain. Build, drill the boulder to unearth the Cheeto Page. Oh. 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 Okay. Well, there we go. I couldn't have gotten that Cheeto page until now anyways. All right. So let's go do that. So it's actually uh, the the dino we filled up his water. Dippy? 
It's uh, it's over there. It's in his like water thing. Actually, I think I should be able to get there pretty quickly from Wombas. I heard the Disney parks are making some changes in plans. Any thoughts? I, I want them to get rid of the reservation system because it's ridiculous and dumb and I don't like it. Um, if they've got good ideas, I'm willing to hear them and see what happens. So let me... I need to know what these plans are before I start having opinions. Now I've gotten up here. I'm sure it's springy shoes. Oh, springy shoes are right there. What's the reservation system? So even if you have like an annual pass that you can get into Disneyland or Disney World basically whenever you more or less would want, you still have to make a reservation ahead of time. And even if you're not blocked out on the date of your... Uh, Uh, of your annual pass you could be blocked out just because too many people have made reservations that day and there's no more spots left I think that is just ridiculous because the whole thing is you get an annual pass so you don't have to deal with block out dates and you can go more or less whenever you need so I'd have a pass but then I had friends want to go and they could only go on certain days and so those happen to be days that the reservation system said I was blocked even though my pass was not. So I still have to buy a day to go out to the park on a day when I could have gone if it weren't for the reservation system, which is completely arbitrary because they can take in so many more people they just don't want to. It's weird. I don't like it. I want the reservation system to go away forever. I can't stand it. Funny, they removed the reservation system over at Disney World next month, but Disneyland, when? Uh, I've heard they're playing around with the idea, which I'm sitting there going, playing around with it. It didn't have a reservation system for every year of its existence except for three. I think you know what that looks like to not have the reservation system. Oh, whatever. It is what it is. All right, so we got all the things now. You have a feeling it'll go away. I'm sure that it will. They know it's extremely unpopular. They know it is. Hence why it's going away in Disney World. So I'm sure it's only a matter of time till we get it gone too. But it's also like, why, why is it not gone yet? It's annoying. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and do check the empty honeycombs first. See if I can get even more health. I don't know how many I have. Sorry, Dactyl Land now complete. Yes. Completed. Universal Studios is doing fine without it. Just saying. I wholeheartedly agree with you. I'm um, honeybee. Yep. Okay, how many do you need? Oh, sweet. Sure, honey. Here we go. Is that all the ones I can do, or, or I've got no more energy to give you? Okay. You're still only an apprentice. Nice. Okay. So I think with that, have we gotten every empty honeycomb? I'm guessing so. Yes, yeah, we got one in Isle of Hags, three in Mayhem Temple, three in Glitter Gulch, three in Witchy World, Jolly Rogers, Terry Dactyl Land. Grant the Industries. Okay. Yep. We got them all. So, yay. Full health. Awesome.
Yeah, I'm sure the reservation system will go away. It's only a matter of time. Since Disney World lost theirs, I'm sure we're going to lose ours. It's just kind of why. Get rid of it now. We've had it. We've had it long enough. You can get rid of it. Uh, yeah. Jinjo Village is closest. Oh. Dadgummit. Brian, you're not playing Switch. Wrong button. <sighs> a Banjo-Kazooie Dark Ride is a must. Oh, I would love a Banjo-Kazooie Dark Ride. That sounds magical. Disney doesn't really care if something's unpopular. They do anything for more money. I think to an extent that's true. But if that were the case with the reservation system, they wouldn't have gotten rid of it in Disney World. There's a level where they're like, okay, there's there's a level of unpopularity that's like, yeah, it's unpopular, kind of, but most people won't care, so let's do it. There's another part, it's like, okay, it's way too unpopular with too many people. We can't do this. There's like a level of... Uh, unpopularness that they can stand and then sometimes it just goes a little too far for them and I think the reservation system is getting to that point because it has that world and I'm sure land's not far behind I'm betting by the end of the year we'll probably either have it at if not gone at least it's kind of reduced or at least had the rules changed a bit to be less arbitrary not by an egregious amount but enough that it'll Chill people out for a little bit. All right. Oh, I have ten, so I can get two uh, two cheats right now. Great, you've got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret cheat. About time! Spill the beans. Hand over my precious pages first. Much obliged. My third cheat is all proof. Got much obliged. My fourth cheat is honey back. Got it? Well, that's all the cheats I can give you for now. If you'll find any more pages, you'll know where to find me. This is a menu of the codes I have told you. Okay, well, I really wish I got this sooner. The fallproof one would have been nice. Hey, <laughs> Cloud Cuckoo Land. <laughs> I kept hurting myself. That's all right. We can go get it done. Does Cheeto the book have a cousin named Dorito the book? <laughs> I don't know, but that's a good question. So we're going to go ahead and go to the wooded plateau and get these cheats put on. Hi, Brian. Do you have snow like where I live right now? No, I live in Southern California. There is no snow here. <laughs> None at all. As long as I've lived here, I've seen one flurry of snow that lasted for about five minutes and didn't stick. That's the most snow I've dealt with in Southern California. <laughs> and I've lived here now for, oh, oh gosh, over nine years now. Oh, that's crazy. I think it was uh, fall proof. Yeah, so F A. Fall proof. The fall proof cheat will keep you from being hurt in long falls. 
Yeah, I really wish I had that back earlier, but okay, whatever. Now the next one is honey back. Where's the inn? Oh, there it is. Almost hit the J. Whoop. That would have been bad. Oh, honey. honey. No. Is that how you spell one of my cheats? I'm afraid you'll have to start with the first letter again. Of course. Let's see here. Um. And. Okay. And then. Okay. A honey back cheat will automatically replenish your energy over time. Ah. That's nice. I'm okay with both of these. Hiya! Hello. And it's nice to have full health and all those cheats. There we go. Alright, um. Now I'm curious, because he said that there were more cheats I could do. I thought I'd gotten all the Cheeto pages, I guess not. So let's look. Uh, let's start with Isle of Hags. There are no Cheeto pages. We got all in Mayhem Temple, Butter Gulch Mine, Witchy World. None. There's none in Jolly Rogers Lagoon? Interesting. All in Pterodactyl Land. We're missing one in Grunty Industries, one in Hailfire Peaks. But there's supposed to be... I guess there's just two more Cheeto pages total? Okay. The problem with Universal Studios... Oh, thank you, Joey. The problem with Universal Studios now is if I need the accessibility card, I'll need a permission set from my doctor. Ever heard of that? I wasn't aware of that. I don't know much about how the accessibility process works at any part, to be honest. So, I don't I don't know what all that entails. Um... So I don't know. I get, I'm sure it's to stop people from inappropriately using that system to make sure that people who need accessibility can get it, but the people who don't need accessibility can't exploit it. So I'm good with the not exploiting things that people legitimately need, but I, I don't know if that's the best way to do it because I just don't know. I didn't activate the cheats. I have to go back. Thank you, Dark Tremora. I forget I actually have to... Why do they add like one extra step that you don't need to do? You, you'd imagine you when you hear that, you've turned them on. Ugh. Go see Heggy. You have all the stop and swap eggs. I can do that, but if I'm if I'm remembering correctly, I'm pretty sure in the Xbox version, all the stop and swap eggs just get me stuff for nuts and bolts, which I'm not gonna play. I refuse to play that game. I have never fully played through that game. The max I got in was 20 minutes and I wanted to throw my Xbox out a window. I'm just like, no, this is not my banjo. This is not my banjo. What did you do to my beautiful boy? Oh, I don't have any of these turned on. There. All right, we have everything on now. <laughs> Nuts and bolts, the game that shall not be named. <laughs> if you see Heggy, you can get... Oh, yeah, Briegel Bash. I forgot about... That. Okay. So, yeah, let's go talk to Heggy. Is that a cat sound? Yeah, these bad guys are cats and they make no cat noises. Mel gets, bring me back my bear. <laughs> I'll send you a link to the 20 YouTubers that are retired and or quitting. Under oh my gosh, yep. 
all the the YouTube max exodus that we're going through right now. Yep. Well, I can tell you guys right now, I'm not going anywhere, but I can totally see where they're coming from. I've watched the videos for not all of them. I watched Matt Pat's. Um, what's this other puzzle one? For some reason, I can't remember what the last one is. Is this the last one? Oh. Okay. There we go. And that one goes here. I thought that the cauldron's keep that we opened was this level that I'm looking at. Huh. Guess it wasn't. So we'll go ahead and knock this out while we're here. Beat the clock puzzles. Ah, oh, don't worry, this is easy. We will definitely beat it. No problem, no anxiety on this one. Nice and simple. We're getting close to the end of the game, y'all. We're getting very close. Yeah, we still beat it with 30 seconds to spare. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's challenge, Tin, so now the great one will show you the way. <laughs> Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. So, okay. Maybe I need to. I'm gonna, we're gonna play through these and I'm gonna remember because I'm like, I don't remember having to unlock that, but obviously I had to. Excellent. You have proved yourself most worthy by opening all the doors. A super special challenge now awaits. One that has no reward yet is the greatest test of all. Press B if you wish to try it. Well, duh, we're gonna try it. <laughs> oh, Joey, thank you. Accessibility is like Disney's Lightning Lane. Well, a Universal, they had a whole different thing, didn't they? It was uh, the all access thing, which that's its Lightning Lane. If accessibility is what I'm thinking about, that's for, you know, people who have some sort of physical handicap that Disney or any part will like, give them that and they can come back at another time without having to pay anything additional extra. At least that was my understanding of it. I could be wrong. Um, Logan, thank you. I have to say, even though they changed the voice actor for Rocky and Chicken Little Run sequel, it didn't really bother me. I thought Zachary Levi fit the voice well of Rocky. I agree. I also get why they didn't go with Mel, uh, with Mel Gibson again, so I totally understand. Okay. So let me... I'm going to come do the thing. Just because I want to see what this is. I don't remember this. What is this? Approach the monolith and press B to attempt the super special challenge. Okay. I shall approach the monolith and press B to attempt the super special challenge. Okay. Behold the super special challenge. Now you will also need to rotate pieces by pressing right stick left and right stick right. I await your fastest completion time. Okay. I guess this one's just for funsies. I actually have to use like puzzle techniques. So like, okay, let's get start with the edge pieces. 
and go, because this one is slightly more challenging. Okay. That one's right side up. There we go. Oh, there it is. And then you... Oh, you're my final corner piece. Oh, I gotta hurry. We're running low on time. Come on, Brian. No! Are we gonna miss by one piece? We missed by one piece. But alas, it was to be expected. Hey! Oh, we're totally gonna do it. That one goes here. Goes there. There we go. And that one. And that one. And that. Oh, crap. No, up one. There. Okay, there we go. And there we go. There we go. And wow, Brian, come on. It's like you've never worked a puzzle before, Brian. Come on. We're not losing this one again. All right, there we go. Uh, Woo. Fantastic, I declare that 95 is the fastest time you truly are the chosen one. All right, well, we did it. I'm not doing it again. I don't need to beat my time more than that. I'm okay right now. All right. So let's head back over here. I'm kind of just, we're kind of just running out the clock right now. <laughs> With just doing things. Wait, let me check in Isla Hags. Have I done everything? I'm missing one Jinjo, and then, yeah, we gotta finish all the Jinjos to get all the stars. Not stars. Uh, the Jiggies. For Isla Hags. I'm trying to remember where the chicken is. I don't remember where she is. Is she at the cliff top? Where is she? Amazing, I've never been able to beat that challenge and you made it look so easy. Well, thank you. I do like uh I do like my uh my puzzles. The chicken's not here. I don't remember where the chicken is. Maybe it's on the cliff top? Wooded Hollow. We were just there. Hanky was in the area you were just in. Why do I not remember where she is? Is she's over here? No, well, that's the mole's house. Oh, is it like... Oh, yeah, there's this walkway back here, isn't there? 
<laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> I don't think we've been here the whole game yet. Clock, hello, clock, Heggy the Hen. Oh, uh, hi, Heggy. I assume something egg-related happens in here. Ah, uh, clever bear, clock, find special egg. Ah, uh, then Heggy hatch. I think we have all the special eggs. Maybe Kazooie's got to do it by herself. Oh, I just keep talking to Heg. Um. Oh, at least beat the smelly bear and skinny bear together. I don't know why I made her sound like a parrot. Want Heggy to hatch the egg? Huh? Got Heggy special egg? You see something we don't? I suppose it was ten years old, so it smells bad. Throw it in the nest. Huh? Watch Heggy hatch. Is this one the nuts and bolts stuff? Uh, special Heggy Egg Rewards Gamer pick. Uh, looks nice, Cluck. I like it. Amazing, and I thought eggs had birds in their head. <laughs> Gamer picture unlocked. So let's, uh, let's talk for the next one. You want Heggy to hatch the egg? Huh? Got another special egg? In the same nest, right? Huh? Yep. Here we go. Uh, watch egg, watch Heggy hatch. Kazooie kind of sounds like Miss Simeon from Amazing World of Gumball. I see that. Now your Heggy voice is turning into Nezra's grandma. Makes sense. I mean, she was in the Easter episode. Uh, special Heggy Egg Awards Banjo Kazooie theme. Uh, cool bear and bird dash. Uh. I like that too. At least they managed to fit us in around all those boxes. Oh. Yeah. One more. Yes, yeah, so we want Haggy to hatch the egg. Well, if it's something good, maybe it'll grant my wish to start my own game. No chance. Rare have plans for us yet. No, they don't. Oh, well, let me guess. Clock. Throw it in. I wasn't reading it at first because I thought it was going to be the same thing, and then I noticed. Oh, it's different. Let me read it. Uh, watch Heggy Hatch. Ba bum. Special Heggy Egg Award, homing eggs, oh, very nice. Go to Cheetah Room to enter homing, to, enter, to enable. Homing eggs would have been helpful to have earlier. Heggy to hatch the egg. How many do I have? Is it like five? Got another Heggy Egg. This one seems heavy. Oh, careful. We're just hatching all the eggs. Watch, watch Heggy hatch. If you have three nests, why is there like, I don't know. I guess it was for aesthetics. I know one of these is nuts and bolts related. Oh, special Heggy Egg Award, Breagle Bash. Oh, press X and X again for Skinny Bird Bash. So funny. Lots of eggs here. Is that the last one? Yes, hatch the egg. See another Heggy egg. Egg hatching, who would have thought Stop and Swap would come to this? It'll be machines next. 
Uh, hand it over. Uh, watch, Heggy Hatch. And Skadoosh. Special Heggy Ego Award, Jinjo as multiplayer character. Who is Jinjo? <laughs> In the N60 version, you, <laughs> you did use all three nests. Makes sense. How many eggs do we have? I don't remember. <laughs> Last egg? Okay, there we go. Tired now. How do you think I feel carrying them all for 10 years? <laughs> well, waiting. <laughs> Watch Heggy Hatch. There we go. Oh, oh, cluck, my cluck. Very special Heggy Egg Award. Oh, this might be useful one day. Cluck. Here we go again. Well, at least that means we'll get to see our 20th birthdays. You think so? Surely Rare will make the next game faster than that. That's it! Think positive! I wonder. Oh, goody! I sense an earth-shattering revelation coming on! Maybe it's worth trying out the, the Logs Lost Challenge DLC. Good idea! You never know! There might be more stop and swap surprises! Yep, all of that was for nuts and bolts on that part. But we did everything else. We got to go do the homing thing, though. The hearing do the Briegel Bash, <laughs> which is fun. Logan, thank you. In the original Looney Tunes, the only time Gossamer speaks is when he says, People! Ah! Am I correct? I think that's true. There might be one or two other instances where he spoke, but it was very rare and frequent. Kind of like Tom. Tom or Jerry talking. Because Tom did talk rarely on occasion. He did. There were a handful of times in the original cartoons that he did. Like, there was a one time he was trying to impress that lady cat, and he was like, I love you. You are a sweet apple pie. Or something like that. And he was doing that to, he thought he was doing it to the lady cat, but he was actually doing it to Spike. <laughs> And he has a couple other spots like that. Um, I think at one point, his tail gets caught on fire by Jerry, and he said, What's cooking? And the girl cat says, You. And he goes like, Ah! It's typical Tom Screech. I was just about to quote that, Brian. Dang it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, but for any Banjo fans in the house, I have come across some news that has made me hopeful. Now, I do want everyone to take this with a grain of salt. None of this is confirmed. Uh, Microsoft has confirmed nothing, but there are some things. The homing cheat will make eggs homing on buddies. Nice. Um, but there has been some things happening, which has led to some rumors of... Um... Wait, how many cheats are there? Says there's at least 12 and I've only got five. What? What? Oh my goodness. Um, I gotta go find out more. I don't think I've found all these before. I want to use them all for uh, for the final battle. That'd be fun. Just have everything turned on. Ah! Um, but yes, the details about Banjo Kazooie with uh, Microsoft. So apparently. Um, there have been rumors floating around between there was an interview with a dude at Microsoft. I don't know his name. Y'all have to go look this up. Where he specifically said, um, we, we typically like to, if we can, we like to take older IPs and give them a second life. And uh, then he specifically said, we hear you, Banjo fans. And then he said later in that same interview, not long after, we don't 
make mention of things unless we're pretty certain things are happening with them, even if they don't happen in the time frame of which we would initially want to hope. So I'm like, does that mean something Banjo is in the works or possibly in the works? Either like a full on remake right now or a seek or Banjo 3E? Um, something like that, I would be most appreciative. Um, other than that, there was also a Twitter poll going around that was uh, talking about which of these classic 90s games would you want to either remake or add a sequel to. Banjo-Kazooie was on the list and a bunch of others. And one of the dudes at Toys for Bob, which did the Spyro games and the Crash Bandicoot games, the new re the new revamped versions of them, he spoke out on a comment and put Banjo. And I was like, maybe that means something. Maybe that means Toys for Bob is making us a new version of Banjo and Kazooie, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, we shall see. We shall see. Um, oh, Joey, thank you. Any hints for the next Vocal Tunes in Ranger A? Well, right now, there's not a lot happening on Vocal Tunes at the moment. As like I, I mentioned it in an earlier stream, we're trying to think through a few logistic things on that because there's I can't keep bringing out that many uh, right now just because they're all so doggone expensive. So, but every, they're still getting Ranger A's every single Saturday, and you're still getting a main video every single Friday. And then we're gonna start uploading videos here on the on Brian Hall Plus more often. We're making a bunch this month, and we'll start rolling them out next month. Um, oh, and thank you, Jason Ramirez. I don't know what happened to the comment, but uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Let's see. Well, I was coming in here to figure out what we still needed here. Yeah. Um, oh, but I knew that. I was meant to go to the hints. Because you can't get hints for what jiggies you need here unless you're actually in the world, which is kind of annoying. Clean up and heat the pool. Inside small glitch cavern below Jolly's. Okay. I can work on those. Then also, I want to go see if I can't play around online and figure out all these other Cheeto codes. Because <laughs> I'm like, there's like 12. I want to know what they all are. <laughs> all right. Oh, my goodness. Okay. But yes, people asking what the next Ranger Ray is going to be. We're going to be hopping in the outback to ask a certain question about one of our... One of all more supial friends down under. <laughs> I can tell you all that. Um, but yes, that's all we have for the stream for the day. We actually went a little bit over. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I had a fun time going through this. We have finished up Terry Dr. Land. Now we got to finish up Jolly Rogers Lagoon and a few others. But we're, we're going to get this. Uh, things are looking pretty good. Maybe next week we could wrap this game up. Ooh, fun times. All right, so with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys again on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!